Hello everyone. I'm here today with a great video that I was very anxious to do. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time because I'm the type of person who have been utilizing this thing for a very long time. So let's get started. This video is to introduce you to my thrifting series. And I am not new to thrift stores. I've been utilizing thrift stores for years. Anything that I wanted that I couldn't find in the store because it was out of season, it was not in style at that moment, I always went into consignment shops or thrift shops to find to buy. I found some really great products in thrift shops over the past years and um, I definitely want to be able to share those things with you and how I shop in thrift stores to make it more cost effective so that you're not buying things that you're not going to utilize. So let's get started. This is my first thrifting haul for my YouTube channel, um, but I'm definitely not new, not a newbie to thrifting. Um, and as we go along, I'll tell you some rules of, you know, how I thrift, what types of things I buy, what makes me want to buy certain things. So let's get started. The first thing that I have is this pink blazer. It is a size 8 and it's from Ellen Tracy. It had shoulder pads but I didn't like it so I took them out. Now what made me buy this is because I knew that I'd be able to wear it as like a boyfriend blazer and it would be a little bit big on me and you know I could wear it with different types of things. So this is how it looks regularly on me. This is it with the sleeves down. Now how we wear it is with the sleeves folded, folded up like this and maybe pulled up so that it's like short and this is really big and it's big over on the shoulders so I wouldn't recommend that you just let the the way it fits on me I wouldn't let the arms hang down like this I definitely have to you know cuff it up some type of way so that it looks good on me and this is how it will look now I pair this with, it's very long, so I paired it with a very, very short skirt with, um, with fishnet stockings and booties and then a shirt underneath, some type of shirt underneath it. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this with like jeans, although I don't think it would look bad with like something like this, like black jeans, but it's definitely something that you can wear over a dress or over a skirt and make it look really, really, really cute. So the next thing that I bought was this blazer in red and it has the same effect, it's really wrinkled, it has the same effect as the pink blazer that I just bought. This one doesn't have a size in it um, and it's from Sag Harbor but it fits me really big. This one does have a button unlike the pink one so I could close it if I wanted to. And this is more something that I would be able to pull off with a pair of jeans or um, with a dress or a skirt or leggings perhaps or the um, a onesie like the unitard. This is something I would wear with it and with flat shoes and make it look really cute with a necklace like this and big earrings and be able to go out and be very, very, very comfortable throughout the day because the blazer allows you to move. So when I'm buying my things from the thrift store, I do not buy things that I like that do not fit me right then and there. Um, one of my new rules is that I need to be able to wear it within a week. If I'm not able to wear it within a week, regardless of dry cleaning, if it's missing things, if it needs to be sewn, if I'm not going to be able to wear it within a week, I'm not buying it because I'm the type of person that the stuff will just stay inside of um, my closet and then I'll end up redonating it back to the thrift store. So my money, even though it's only $5 or $6 here and there, it does go to waste if you buy things that you're not going to use. So I make sure that I'm only buying things that I'm going to wear within a week. Um, be stare up, be, be very careful of the dry cleaner or the cleaning, how you need to clean the products that you're buying from a thrift store. If you buy something that costs $12 
and then you have to get a dry clean for another $12. You might could have went to a Fabra 21 or some other type of store and gotten a blazer or a shirt or a skirt for $24 without having to go through all of those things. Now, if it's a very, very, very unique um, piece that you know is going to make you stand out that nobody will have on, then that's different. But on a regular basis, I don't buy things that will, is too costly for me to clean or too much. I don't want to go out my way to wear the product. The next one I have is this green blazer. And this is, I'll be wearing this as like some type of overcoat. Um, I'm looking for a turtleneck to put this with now, but I haven't um, been able to find one. So this is how it fits. I love the way the blazer fits me. And it's really cold in New York now, so I'm not going to be able to wear this by itself. So I might wait until it gets a little bit warmer, but I can't wait to wear this. Um, I like where the arms stop. They're not too long and they're not too short. Um, it has a gold button right here, which I really like. Um, I'm not going to change that. Usually I'll just change the buttons that I have on the things that I buy from the thrift shop, but this is not needed. I really don't need to change this piece at all. Um, I just need to figure out what I'm going to piece it with, and I haven't really been able to find it. But, like I said, it's so cold in New York City that I have some time to wait to figure out um, what I want to wear with this. And this piece is a size 10, and I'm not sure um, what company made this. The next piece I have is from Ann Taylor. And it's another blazer. It's a size 12. And it's very, it's burgundy. I love this burgundy color. Um, so I was happy that I was able to find this. I probably would have found something like it. Um, something this color in the Forever 21 or a store like that to um, add to my collection. But I was happy that I was able to find it for $6 in a beauty, in a thrift shop. So... This is how it looks on me. It's a little bit big, but I like the way it fits. Um, I can definitely see myself going out to a dinner or something with this on and, you know, piecing it with any jeans and um, shoes or a nice skirt and a shirt, um, heels, sneakers. I could even see myself wearing this with flat shoes or maybe my toms. Um, and really being able to work this piece. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. Um, so I really like it. It has a little false pocket right here for looks. Um, and I really, really, really definitely am feeling this piece and the way that it fits me. So it's really something that I'm looking forward to wearing. Um, and I definitely think it was a great buy for their shop. The button is the same color as the jacket if I wanted to change this and style it up and make it a little bit more hip I could definitely change the button to another color button or another kind of button to you know give it an updated look 